Hey everybody, Panda here, here to bring you Yu-Gi-Oh! ZL Season 2, Episode 20. Uh, got to say this um, episode was alright, it included the um, duel between Yuma and Al uh, Yuna and Anna, Anna versus, I think I don't know what those guys are called, um, but the ones that keep going, honey and darling, it's like all that shit, it was um, pretty funny, I mean I made a few mistakes in my last one, I accidentally got the uh, monster mi uh, mixed up for a level instead of the rank, I'm sorry, one of my gut, um, subs corrected me for that, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> I'm glad that they are, I've just got you guys to keep like sorting out the shit I keep making up, so um, let's go into the episode itself, so the duel started off as like Anna was now going to get attacked by the, I think it was called the Gargantia, um, I believe that the little, the, it was like a rank 10, like it had like 300 I think, it had quite a lot, I think it was in the 3000s. And Yuma uses half and break card by, but I like this because I didn't know this about half and break that um, you can actually choose the effects of the half and break on any card you want. So it can just be a monster, but then you can also choose if you want to half your life points or you can half your opponents. I mean, I think some people can use that to their advantage like a lot. So exactly, if you don't have any monsters out in your field or if your um, opponents um, playing cards where you do not. Uh, use it. I mean, obviously, this isn't going to be a um, a meta in any um, decks nowadays because you know there's no point when you've got like solemn warning, judgment. Um, I actually want to know in the conversation below because I know some of you guys are actually do keep up with the series. I keep up as well as much as I try to. Um, how did they um, limit um, uh, solemn warning just to one, or did they completely ban it? Because I think it's just a one because it is a pretty good card. Um, but Yuma went out, he drew his card, he got out Gauntlet Shooter by summoning Dodo -do Warrior, which can be summoned once you have, like, um, by reducing its attack points by 500. Then Yuma activated this card, where it lets you special summon a monster of the same level, but its attack, defense, and effect is negated, um, and the attack and defense is zero. We, he brought out a cha cha uh, I can't cha 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 archer which was a level 6, so he did that. I like Yuma's getting out of the, like, the just the out of the freaking level 4 area, that's the thing, like, Yuma's been doing a lot recently to get out of that freaking just keep using level 4s. So his deck, um, he brought out the Gauntlet Shooter. I've used this card before, it's actually pretty good if you have, like, a rank 6 deck. I think the best cards you use it for are mainly the Heretics, I think, since some of them are, like, level 5 and 6. Um, which lets you destroy one monster, but they had a card named as XYZ Coat, which stopped the negation of the either by battle or destruction, and they did. I like this because they had like a thing called XYZ Switches as well, so they could keep switching the monster about uh, and give it to each other so they could use the effect. But I think it was like got to the end where like, um, I think like you did like XYZ Gift, it gave him two cards, uh, and it got to the point where you know they keep protecting each other. And Anna, um, she got like this card she got from, um, that, uh, the girl's wedding, um, this like love card. Uh, basically, you put your life points to zero, and it gives your partner a card to draw. Um, it immediately ends the turn, which you know they could use that. Um, but that's the thing; no one ever uses tag jewels. That's the thing. Uh, whenever you're in a tournament or I think if you ever go out playing, no one does tags. It's just always think like you know matches and all that. But if they do incorporate um, tournaments, then, you know, in tag duels, then, you know, there you go. Um, so you managed to bring out his hope, and Astral saw the ranked up limited barrier force. He, Yuma didn't tell anyone, he didn't he didn't tell Astral about where he got that card, he just said he lied, said, oh, I got it from Gilag. And he got hope break the, I mean, the woman's card, the rank up monster she used was a, a ranked up, a rank um, 11. And it had a pretty good effect. You can detach it. It can attack twice per turn. Um, it had a second effect when you attack, when it destroys a monster by battle. It takes half of that monster's attack points and deals it as effect damage. So it was pretty good card effect. Um, enjoy that. Like, overall, it'd be nice if we get Anna more into the series because I'd really like to see a, like, a machine deck like hers, you know, use. Since the last machine deck we really had is... 
Uh, let's think, where's the last real machine deck person we had as a main character? I think it probably was Cyrus and Zane from um, GX. But like, overall, it was an alright episode. Um, I do like the mystery that like Astral's got like going on with like you know he doesn't trust who other gave them you with the card uh, obviously it was Shingetsu but that's my opinion on it but that's all for me everybody better get on with that fairy tale and I'm gonna try and get Madaka box in today I've been meaning to do that for ages and I've been getting requested to do that again so you know hopefully gonna get my Madaka in there because uh, but that's all for me everyone so thank you very much for watching remember shut that panda Zena and I'll see you next time.